Math! So, math is a pretty cool topic, and we're going to try to get through this one relatively quickly, although it probably will turn into be turn out to be a fairly long video. But math is pretty fun, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Math and how to math. Binary and unary operations. Binary operations are operations that have two operands, one on the left and one on the right. In the example x plus y, the operation is addition, and the operands are x and y. Unary operations are operations that have only one operand. Minus a would mean the opposite value of a. If a were 8, we'd get minus 8. If a were minus 8, we'd get 8. Binary math operators. We're going to run through these pretty quickly. You should understand most of them already for math, but modulus is a little unique. You haven't seen the percent sign before as a math operator. Plus is addition sums the two operands. 5 plus 3 makes 8. Minus is subtraction. It subtracts the right operand from the left operand. 5 minus 3 is 2. Asterisk is used for multiplication. It multiplies the operands. 9 times 7 is 63. Forward slash is for division. It divides the left operand by the right operand. 4 divided by 2 would be 2. Percent is used for modulus, also known as remainder. Divides the left operand by the right operand to find the remainder. 19 divided by 5 is 3, but what we care about here is the remainder. A moment. All right, truncation. Truncation is the process of converting a double value into an int value by throwing away its decimal places. It occurs when an int is divided by an int, and when a double is casted into an int. We'll be going over casting later, so this exam you might want to flip back to this example after we go over casting. Uh, the first part can be covered relatively easy though. int a equals 5 divided by 2. That's an int divided by an int, 2.5. Which really boils down to 2 point I don't care. It doesn't matter what's beyond the decimal point, you don't care, it's getting thrown away. So int a equals 5 divided by 2, giving you a total of, or sorry, giving you a result of two point I don't care, which is two. So system.out.print two. Double C equals 9.9. .9. System.out.print parenthesis int parenthesis. This is a cast saying treat C as though it were an int, and you can look at the cast notes a little bit later. It's not changing C, it's treating C as though it were an integer. If you treat 9.9 .9 as an int, it truncates. Now it actually doesn't throw away the data in the variable, but for display purposes and calculation purposes, it's using the value 9 instead of 9.9. .9. So it prints 9. If later we print C, it is still 9.9 .9 because we did not change the variable. We treated C as though it were an integer, but did not mess with the data. And again, you'll see that when we get into casting. I believe that's later in this video. Unary math operators. First one we have is a minus, which is used for sign change. It uses the opposite of a value. Plus, it can be used for absolute value, uses the, po uses the positive version of the value. Plus plus prefix, or prefix incrementation, changes the variable's value by adding one to it and uses the new value in the equation. Plus plus postfix, known as postfix incrementation, uses the variable's value in the equation and then changes the variable's value by adding one to it. Minus minus prefix is prefix decrementation. Changes the variable's value by subtracting one from it and uses the new value new value in the equation. Minus minus postfix or postfix decrementation uses the variable's value in the equation and then changes the variable's value by subtracting one from it. I know this seems like a lot. We are going to cover some examples of prefix and postfix uh, incrementation decrementation so you can understand what those really mean. Prefix versus postfix. Example one. We got x, it's equal to 8. Let me grab the pen down here. So pen. So x equals 8. Y equals 5. Now we're getting ready to do this. Notice it's minus comes first. 
So the first thing we're going to do is change x to 7. Then we use the new value in the equation because it was pre. Make the change first. So 7 plus 5 z would be equal to 12. If we were to print x, that would be 7, y would be 5, and z would be 12. Let me grab the eraser down here. The eraser. All right, now let's move on. In this example, we're going to need the pen again. This time we're going to do a postfix minus minus. So I guess I should have left x up here. x equals 8, that's pretty big. y equals 5. And notice we use x, so we use an 8 in the equation, and then we do the change because the change is occurring after. Notice x is still changing to 7, but in the equation we used an 8. The y is still 5 in this example. So when we display our answer, well, before we display our answers, we're going to write down that z is 7. So x holds the value 7 because it was changed just like before. y holds the value 5. And z is 13 because it was 5 plus the old x. Let's go ahead and erase this. All right, so now let's move on to the next slide. All right, assignment operators. Equal changes the variable on the left to, uh, sorry, changes the variable on the left of the equal to store the value on the right of the equal. Plus equals adds the value on the right of the plus equals to the value of the, to the variable on the left of the plus equals. Minus equals subtracts the value on the right of the minus equals from the variable of the, on the left of the minus equals. We're going to see an example over these. So if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, it should once we do our examples. Multiply equals multiplies the variable on the left of the multiply equal by the value on the right of the multiply equal. Divide equal divides the variable on the left by, sorry, the left of the divide equal by the value on the right of the divide equal. Modulus equals stores the remainder found by dividing the variable on the left of the divide equals by the value on the right of the divide equal. And it all gets stored into the variable on the left of the divide equal. Example 1. int x equals 8, int y equals 5. If we were to say y minus equals 8 plus x, this is short for doing y equals itself minus the right-hand side. The right-hand side is not minus 8 and then add x. So if we look over to the right, it's going to show what it really is short for. y equals itself minus the right side. Notice the minus side, sorry, notice the right side has two terms. So we put 8 plus x. So it's not minus 8 and then add x. It's minus whatever 8 plus x is. 8 plus x is 8 plus 8, resulting in 16. So y equals itself minus 16. y equals 5 minus 16, negative 11. Going to example 2, we have x is 3, y is 14, and we say y percent equals x. So that seems a little complicated, but it's not. Remember, it's equal to itself, so it's becoming itself modulus x. Itself is 14. 14% 14 3 means divide 14 by 3. What's the remainder? Well, 3 goes into 14 four times with 2 left over. So our answer should be 2. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. 2. Operator precedence, the order in which operations are performed. There is a vastly more complicated version of this precedence chart in the chapter. So if you want a more complicated version of the precedence chart, you can look in the back and it will tell you, like, oh, you notice that 
um, incrementation and decrementation aren't going to fall into addition and subtraction. So they're on a different level. Some of the stuff on the chart goes right to left, some goes left to right. All of these go left to right, and these are the ones we're going to be working on for the AP test. All right. The above operations are done by level, left to right. So first you do all the parentheses, starting from left to right. Then you do the multiplication, the division, and the modulus. Remainder is division. That's why it's on the same level. It's not, and you don't do multiplication, then all the divisions, then the modulus. You go left to right. The first of any one of those three you encounter, you do. Then you do the next one you encounter, so forth. Once that's completely done, then we move on to the add and subtracting level. The above operations are done left to right. So they're done by level, left to right. Okay, this is a fairly long example, and I probably should have worked this one with a pen, but I'm going to show you what's going on. So here's our uh, equation. The first thing we're going to do is this right here, and notice it gets replaced with 8. Now this is left over to finish out this level. So we did the first parentheses, now we're doing the second. 6 divided by 2 is 3. You'll notice that 3 is right here. And then we are done with the level of parentheses. So there shouldn't be any parentheses when we get to multiplication divide. So we work left to right, the first multiplication we find is here. 8 times 7 is 56. There is a second multiplication, sorry, second multiplication division left. That's 56 divided by 4. 56 divided by 4 is 14. Because it's 40 and 16, so that would be 14. So that is here. Now we're going to do addition and subtraction. The first piece we find is this. 14 plus 3, 17. Then we're left with 17 minus 3, resulting in 14. The math, the math class has methods to perform complex operations and store, and it also stores an accurate value of pi. Pi. Accessing the value of pi is relatively easy. Anywhere you want to use the value of pi, you type math.pi. Math is a class, also known as an object, and in our previous video we stated that classes or objects always start with uppercase letters. Primitives start with lowercase letters. Math.pi. When we access the value of pi, it is math.pi. And the reason it's in all caps is because pi is a final variable. That means it's a constant. It cannot be changed. So notice math is in all caps. An example would be if we wanted to calculate the circumference of something, we would say 2 times math.pi, that gets us a value of pi, times radius. Please do not use 3.14 in your equations, that's not a very accurate value of pi. It's, that's a very rough value of pi. You're going to get your answers wrong if you're using 3.4. You have to use math.pi. The math class has several methods for making calculations. Absolute value, int, or abs, int value, finds the absolute value of an int. The next one should have said double, so let's just mark that out. Double, absolute value, double value finds the value of the receipt, the absolute value of the received double value. POW will get the uh, result by taking the given double base to the given double exponent, and the answer will be a double. Random creates a random double value from 0 to 1, but not including 1. It can include 0, so it could be 0.99999. Squirt or square root, double value, finds the square root of a value, and that result will be a double. All right, uh, my videos are kept to a 15-minute block, and I ran out of time on the last one. We're going to have to finish these last two examples really quick. So we have double A equals 5, double B equals 2, double R equals math.pow B comma A. This would be take B to the power of A, 2, with an exponent of 5 would be 32. Our next map 